Yeah, I'm Vondi Curtis Hall. I'm a I'm an actor, writer, director, you know, artist. <laughs> Today on Industry Folk, movie directors. We talk to film director Vondi Curtis Hall, director of Redemption, Gridlock, and Waist Deep to find out what making movies is all about. What exactly does a director do? The film director does more than yell action and cut. Yeah, I mean, the director really does really everything. I mean, everything that you see is really a, a because of the director. You look at a red chair, and it's because the director said, I like that red chair. Because somebody showed him 20 chairs of different colors, and he said, you know, I'm going to go with the red one. The music that you hear in the movie. It's run by the director. It's like, do you like this? Do you like this? Would, you, would this work with the picture? This work with the picture? Yeah, I like this song. You know, I like that song. How it's shot. Oftentimes, like me, if you're a writer, you know, the words that the actors are saying. Why you in there grab me a diet iced tea? I'm kicking, and I want you to do it with me. When I'm writing, I'm directing. Because when I'm writing a scene, it's like, you know, the car goes by, it turns the corner, it bangs into this, it goes over the bridge. I'm seeing that. So I'm directing that. So when I get in an argument with an actor, invariably, you know, it's a healthy dialogue, you know, <laughs> over something, you know, in the script or something or some moment that, you know, it's like, well, you know, I wrote this shit. So, you know, let's, let's try to work together on it. You, you know what I mean? But at the end of the day, I, I gotta have the final say. Not allowed to star in his first feature, he was asked to consider a very unlikely candidate to play opposite actor Tim Roth, rapper Tupac Shakur. So I went around the first meetings at the studio, said I'm gonna star in it, you know, with Tim Roth. And then like, no, it's your first movie. You can either direct or star in it but we, we can't do both, we don't know what you can do because I had never made a short or anything like that. At that point, as it was going around, I hooked up with uh, Russell Simmons, Dan Lathan, Ted Field, who was co-owner of Interscope. They liked the script and wanted to do the movie, so uh, Preston Holmes uh, had had a relationship with Pac, Tupac, and, uh, and said, you know, this young brother's coming out of, just getting out of jail, You should check him out. I was like, well, you know, I like Pac. I like his work as, as, a, as a rapper, you know. But you know, I really want an actor in this movie, you know. Pac called me. Like, look, I just want to sit down with you. I just want to, you know, you know, we sit down. And, and Pac would just blew me away. I mean, he just so knew the script. There's a whole bunch of black people out here shooting and burning cars, talking about revolution. You better send some motherfuckers out here. They're on their way. And he was great. And then I told Tim, you know, look, I found somebody to work opposite you. He said, you know, whatever, if you trust it, you know, then I'm, I'm with you. And then Tim gets calls from like all all his friends, like, you can't be in a movie with this guy. <laughs> you know, you're wow. gonna get killed. Da, 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 da. So Tim comes back and goes, you know, I'm getting, you know, everybody's like, you know, I'm gonna get killed if I do in a movie with this guy. He's like, no, nah, you know, it's gonna be all right. So Tim says, cool. You know, I trust you, let's hook up. So he, myself, and Pop get together, you know, just sort of kick it one night and smoke, you know, four packs of cigarettes and drink like, you know, 40 beers. And, and they just bonded. And from that moment on, it was just, you know, it was gold with, 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 with Pop and Tim Roth. And we, so we did that movie, and that was my first movie. After jump starting his cinematic career, Vondi decides to show a new angle on the untold story of urban fatherhood in his film, Waist Deep. When you look at Waste Deep, it's really, though it's got the trappings of, you know, a, of a gangster movie, what I was really trying to make was really a black father and son story. It was always really about what, a, what, what I never saw was a brother from the ghetto, a brother from the projects, who, who would do anything for a son. I didn't see that movie. I never saw that movie. Every brother you see in the projects, you know, if he's slinging, you know, he's crackhead, he's doing something, 
But he, he's not there. He's not there for his son. He's not there for his kids. He's not there for his woman. So I wanted to make a movie that was about a brother, you know, who wasn't a perfect brother, but who cared enough for his son that he'd do anything. Tyrese was really playing an action hero. I mean, he was really playing Bruce Willis and some of that shit. You know what I mean? It was like, you know, the car chase. <laughs> I mean, I didn't see the brothers in the, I don't know of a movie that a brother is just, our lead brother in a regular urban movie has been doing a car chase where he's just, it's all about him, his car, and on that level. So you want to be a film director. First learn how to write your own story. Start with reading Sid Fields' The Screenplay. It's the Bible on screenplay structure and format. Find, get on, and intern on local productions to learn the physical organized process of production. Find a way with drawing, still, video camera, or picture phone to shoot your film photographically. And most important, tell a good story. Visualize and make it so. Industry folk.